Welcome to Dover. I'm George, one of the founders, and over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how the ATS works and get you set up on it. When you first log into Dover, you're going to land on your homepage. This is also going to give you a getting started guide to help you get going. I'm going to cover most of the material in this getting started guide during this demonstration. The first step is to create your careers page. To get started, I'm going to click on the careers page here, and this is where you're able to customize this page to match your company design. So from here, basically, instead of me walking you through these various fields, I'm actually just going to show you what a completed one looks like. So I'm going to go to one of our customers here called Coverforce. I'm going to click on their careers page here. On the left, you'll see a lot about the company, what they do. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see all the different jobs that candidates can apply to. After you do that, the next thing you're going to want to do is create a job. You do that by clicking on the plus job button here. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're actually going to walk through this sample job that's already created for you though. Most of the features in Dover live within the job. They're broken up across three different groups within the job. You can kind of think about these tabs basically as features within Dover. So the first three tabs here are all around tracking candidates throughout your process. The next five tabs here are around getting more candidates into your process. And the last two tabs here are around you defining your process for candidates. So let's go to the job postings tab to do that. This is where you're able to write your job description, customize what's displayed around compensation and that sort of stuff, and also add questions for candidates that they have to fill out to apply for the job. Once you've posted the job, the next step is you're gonna to wanna to advertise that job across different platforms. You can do that on the job boards tab. Here you're gonna see over 100 different job boards. You can also go source candidates through Dover. This is where you can download a Chrome extension and then go to LinkedIn and find candidates that you wanna reach out to. The sourcing extension will give you the candidate's email address and will allow you to run a drip campaign on that candidate so that you can basically ping them and ask them if they're interested in the job. As you start receiving candidates, they're gonna come into the Applications tab. This is where you can basically review candidates and decide whether you'd like to interview them or reject them. You'll have these two toggles here at the top to schedule and reject. You can simply click on them and you'll be able to use these email templates, I'll show you how to create these in a second, that you can basically advance or reject candidates with. Once you decide to advance some candidates, they will go into the candidates tab. You can simply drag and drop these candidates through different stages. You can also click into their card and you'll be able to track all the activity on these candidates and see what's going on with them. These are mostly because these are pretend people, but if you, this is a real candidate, you'd see all your emails back and forth with them, you'd see your interviews you connected with them, you'll see their resume, um, you'll also see their interview feedback. As you see in this uh, example setup, there's an applied stage, a recruiter screen stage, a hiring manager stage, and on-site stage. Obviously, your stages might be a bit different. You can customize those stages in the interview plan. You can also add additional stages. You can add a multi-part interview, a single-part interview, or an assessment. You could further customize these stages, so you can name them whatever you'd like to call them, set the duration, and also set who's going to be doing those interviews. Earlier, I mentioned email templates. This is where you can configure those for various stages. I could create a template here that says, yeah, I'm excited to connect. Here's my calendar link and add this calendar link to it. In addition to creating email templates, you can also create feedback forms. So this is for each stage of the interview process, what are the questions you're gonna ask those candidates and where do you record that feedback? So you can create a feedback form here. So let's pretend, for example, we're like interviewing for a full stack engineer. I can put that in here and here's a bunch of questions I might decide to ask that candidate during the interview. So that's a real quick wham bam slum of the ATS. If you have any additional questions, I highly recommend connecting with a recruiting partner. At Dover, we focus a lot on the cost per hire. We publish every hire that we've ever done here on this table. Simply click Access Marketplace to get started. Good luck recruiting, and let us know if you have any additional questions.